Hey folks, how you doing? Papa Joe here. Saturday morning. Setting up my receiver. We'll see how noisy that traffic is out there on that interstate. I'm right next to the interstate. I'll put my windows up a little bit. Uh, I want to talk to you about the church of God and the army of God. There is a difference. The uh, church of God is all Christians. All of us that are believers and followers of the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's all of us that attempt to live for him. We believe in him, love him, thank him. So that's the church of God. Now inside the church of God, uh, there are a whole do a lot of different ways that you can go. Well, hopefully according to how God wants you to go is the way that you go. You know, we have all the different gifts and we don't all get all gifts like some people think. Some of us get one, some get two, some get more. Uh, we all have the same guidelines to work by, to follow, to keep us on that narrow path. But we all have different jobs. We all can't be preachers. We all can't be singers. You don't want to hear me singing. Trust me, it ain't pretty. Luckily, God's toned up, and I'm quite convinced of that. Either he's don't toned up, or he's got some kind of an app that buffers the sound of some of us. But then there also are those of us that are his warriors. Yeah. God's always had his armies. God's been battling evil for since the beginning of man. And uh, there's a new warrior out today. There's a few of us that admit we're the new kind of Christian. Which the new kind of Christian is the old kind of Christian. Now make sense out of that one. Back in the day, people stood up for God. They fought for God. They defended God on all different levels. Over the last, I'll say a hundred years, I don't know exact numbers, it don't matter. The people of God have been beaten down and beaten down and beaten down and persecuted and killed and murdered and and told to shut up and sit down and you're a bunch of dreamers and fools and and the average Christian is cowered down and really afraid to say much. And I understand. But then again you got a few of us other ones that we ain't beat down. Maybe that's why the Lord took his time coming into my life and a few others that I personally know and I know there's a lot more that I don't know. Maybe he let us get a little bit hard and crusty out here. Get a little bit of the rough knocks around. And then he came into our lives and now he's using us how he sees fit. No, I'm not out there on the street slugging it out with him. That ain't what the army of God does. But the army of God does have a backbone. He's not cowed down. He's not afraid to call the evil one out. I have a friend of mine, Dan, in Georgia. Now that boy's quick, fast, and in a hurry. I mean, he'll draw down on you quick and tell you how stupid you are. I try to be a little more tactful than him. And yes, I've told him that. So if he watches this, he won't be melting. He won't be offended. He'll be laughing. 
because it's a new age of the army of God. There are those out here that are ready and willing to stand up for God. I know here in America, what are they going to do to me? They're only going to run their mouth for the most part. If you was overseas, they'll cut your head off. Would I be silenced over there? I don't know. And I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I know. I'm not there until you put in that situation you don't know. But I know in my time and place here in America, I have no problem at all on calling folks out. When they start talking stupid, I'll call them out. That's the new Christian warrior. Get used to it. No, we ain't perfect, but neither are you. The best of us is a nasty smell in the nostril of God. Are we perfect? Nope, none of us. There was only one perfect one and they nailed him to a cross. The rest of us, we're just doing the best that we can and we're lucky because we are forgiven. That's what a lot of us count on. And in the meantime, if you're going to trash my Lord and talk smack, there's more and more people like me that's going to jump up there and tell you, hey, you're being stupid in a no stupid zone. Knock it off. Why don't you learn what to, about what you're talking about before you go running off at your mouth? Yeah, some of us are a little rough around the edges. But, you know what? From what I've read in the Bible, those are the ones that God uses. Those that think that they're perfect and they're doing everything right, well, they don't need God. They think they've got it right. Those of us that need God, that's the ones he'll use. Like I said in last night's video, you need to pick a side. Well, you need to pick a job. You need to be praying and talking to the Lord and find out what does he want you to do. Our world is changing. And it's fixing to start changing real rapidly. And you can't be a straddle that fence for much longer. You're going to have to decide if you really want to be a Christian and work for the Lord. Or are you going to be of this earth and of the devil? That's just code point blank facts. So there you go. I was somewhat trying to say that last night in that other video, but I just wasn't getting it out. I got her out today. May the good Lord be with you and help you to decide what you have to do. Remember, God loves you and so do I. Have a blessed day. Bye.